Good boy. That is Thea's little distress call whenever I want him to come hey, come over where I am. I just go, bow. All right, well, Justin's at work today, and it's just me and Theo, so we're gonna vlog a little bit, and we're gonna go on a hike. So before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Follow along with us, hit the notification bell, because we put out some fun videos, and we're gonna have some cool stuff coming along the way. And we're not on a set schedule right now, so if you guys hit the notification bell, you will be notified when we upload the videos. We would like to get on a schedule in the future, Right, Theo? We are just way too busy right now to have a set day of the week to post our videos on. So if you, oh, thanks, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and let's go on a hike. Let's go, hang out with me today. What is up, everybody? I am actually off work this week because I took a vacation week, but I'm not going anywhere. Justin's at work. I am hiking with Theo. So it's me and Theo's day off together. Let me turn the camera around. Theo. Yeah, buddy. You ready? Come on. So I used to go hiking all the time when I was younger, even in my college days. And now that I have more time, I want to get back into it. And I just bought a bunch of new camping gear and very excited about that. So I can take Justin camping. I can take Theo on his first camping trip. I made a stupid mistake right now. I got all my stuff ready for this little mini hike and I completely forgot bug spray. So I am being eaten alive by mosquitoes and I know I'm gonna be so itchy for days. It's gonna be a lot of cortisone cream or a lot of anti-itch everything. This is so beautiful, check this out. It's actually a very pretty trail that is only about like 10 minutes from where we live. I really want to let Theo off leash, but he sometimes listens and sometimes doesn't, so I'm super afraid he might see an animal and run away. So he's on his little harness right now. He's got a new harness. It looks so beautiful. It goes in right in the front of his belly, and it matches my clothes today. How about that? As much as I like camping and nature and stuff, I always have this like little irrational fear that I'm going to get lost and not be able to find my way out of some place. Uh, <laughs> or like when I'm camping, some like, some creepy witch what? in the woods is gonna get me and that's probably from all the horror movies that I used to see when I was little. But the one time Theo and I did get lost in the woods he was a little puppy and i went to on this new trail with him back in pennsylvania and my phone was dead and it was storming and raining and we got completely muddy and soaking wet and we it took us forever to find our way out uh, and back onto the trail that we were supposed to be on and we slid down this hill all muddy and stuff and it was just hilarious i had to put him in the bathtub in the shower with me and I was in my like underwear and I was just like cleaning him off and trying to get myself clean and we were just a mess. Yeah, I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. If I don't make it out, love you Justin. <laughs> I'm gonna come home with all these little bumps on me. Oh. Well this is kind of fun. Come on fluff butt. Come on fluff butt. Good boy. Oh, but you kind of look like a little bear from behind. <laughs> All right, we've actually been walking for about an hour now, so, and Thea's eating plants. Stop it, I don't know what's okay to eat. So I think I'm gonna just like turn around before we get, honestly, I'm the worst at directions. It doesn't matter whether I'm on the road, in the woods, I just always get lost, so. We already came to a bunch of forks in the roads, so I probably shouldn't go too crazy far. It's been about an hour already. So we're gonna turn around and brave all the damn mosquitoes again. 
So this is just kind of like a side note chit chat. I mentioned something about horror movies earlier. Um, yeah, let's go down this way, buddy. Uh, Justin finally got me to watch the movie It yesterday. And I'm not gonna lie, I am like constantly afraid some freaking clown is gonna show up in the woods and scare the crap out of me. Come on, buddy. Because apparently in the movie It, no, 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 wrong way. Come on. Apparently in the movie It, the clown feeds off fear. And one, I hate clowns. And two, it is super easy to scare me. I am just easy to scare. And I don't like a lot of horror movies unless I'm watching them with somebody. But Justin finally got me to watch It. We watched it in our bedroom. And so I felt a little bit more safe. Um, typically, I do enjoy watching them at the theater more because I feel like at home I like to be safe and not scared <laughs> but now like i feel like every time i look in the closet now that i'm on this hike i'm gonna see like a clown in the woods so as i'm talking i'm like looking in the background of the camera to make sure there's not a clown his head sticking out in the woods or anything like that <laughs> but yeah he got me to watch it and actually he was justin's always super sweet and he actually held my hand the entire time and he got so mad at me at one point though because my eyes were closed throughout an entire scene in the movie but you know i should refuse to watch something if it's gonna scare me that bad All right we're really excited though because theo uh, theo <laughs> has been working on a little project and you guys will find out later on in the year what that project is but it's something really cool that we've never done before and we are super excited to let everybody know people have been asking me when bearded and beautiful is coming back obviously it was a little controversial some people really hated a man with a beard putting on makeup other people thought it was badass and was like yeah go for it nick we love it you do you and i mean i still play with makeup I don't like go out glam in public, but I'll still put on makeup before an event. Something subtle, just like foundation, some concealer and stuff like that. And of course, a little bit of highlight right on the cheekbone. But I don't know, maybe I'll do it again someday on YouTube. Maybe I'll start my own separate YouTube channel for all my makeup endeavors. But I mean, I almost considered calling this video today Bearded and Beautiful because Bearded and Beautiful is not just about having a beard and wearing makeup. It's also about just like living your life the way you want to live it and not letting anybody changing your mind and changing what you like about you. And a lot of people tell Justin to tell me to shave my beard, but fun fact, Justin loves my beard. I've considered just shaving it and clean shaven just for fun because it grows back so fast and Justin doesn't want me to because he loves it. So that's, that's that. All right, I am back home and you can see I got bit pretty good right there and right there Ooh. and there's a couple more on my other arm too. They're mostly on my arms but what are you going to do? And me and Budgie, I call, so if you guys didn't know this, we call Theo Budgie. I don't know why. I think it sounds like something from Australia but we started calling him buddy, hey buddy, and then it kind of turned into budgie, budgie, and so that's what we call him right now. Do you guys see this right here? When I wear a hat too often, I get these little bumps everywhere. And these were bigger pimples right here. But I use this medicine to dry them out, so now they're just like scab and healing, but that's what's going on right here. And I keep wanting, I'm a big picker. I love picking stuff. And I have to try really hard not to. And Justin always catches me and says, Nick, you keep doing it. And then you wonder why they don't heal faster. I'm a picker. I didn't, I didn't make the bed today. 
I'm just kind of relaxing after my shower, after the hike. I'm hanging out with Theo. See all those toy. I'll play. How do you still have energy? If you didn't see our video about our apartment tour, I don't know if this was in here during the apartment tour, but Justin put all these plants and stuff together and he did a great job. We're both creative in very different ways and Justin is very good with design and colors and I'm not that great with that. I can do makeup and I'm creative with that, but otherwise I leave all that to him, all the decorating because he just does a great job and I love what he's done with our apartment. Oh, my only requirement is that I am allowed to add some Harry Potter stuff in the house. So I bought this little guy. Oh. Okay, it's not breakable. I got this to hold this wand on. Yes, yes. Do you like it? But we're gonna we're gonna educate the world for a little bit because this is something that bugs me about Harry Potter. This, everyone, this is Hermione's wand from the first movie. If you noticed in the movies and you're a big Harry Potter fan, the wands changed over time. I don't know if it's because the directors changed or what happened, but in the first movie, if you look closely, this is what her wand looks like. There's another one that's very pretty that has vines going all up it, but I, I like it, but I'm just a bigger fan of this original wand. And this is Hermione's, and yeah, if you don't have this, and you're not a true fan. I'm just kidding. I think I might actually go to the store or go eat or something like that. It is midday, and Justin still has a while until he's done working. So, before I go out, I do just put on a little stuff. When I have red marks like that, I, I kind of want to cover them up. And so this is the time that I do kind of put on makeup. And I just put on, oh, look at that. I put on a little bit of foundation, but I honestly don't even put it everywhere. I just kind of, I almost use it as like spot concealer. And just like pounce it around my forehead. And you'll be surprised. Oh, look, see, it's like, where'd it go? I don't know. It's a secret. It's like I'm, I'm a wizard. And then whatever's left on the brush, I just kind of put around here. So I don't want to go too much on a rant, but I think it's funny uh, some of the hate comments that we get on YouTube. For some reason, I think people feel like they can be more vocal on YouTube versus other platforms. Um, I don't know why that is, but... It just seems, if you think you know why, let me know. Heck, maybe you're one of the people and you can let me know. But people come for creators on YouTube way more than other platforms that I notice. And it's kind of comical. And people get mad if you delete comments. But of course we're going to delete hate comments that say like, go to hell, your lifestyle is gross. And of course we're going to block them. And why are you watching our stuff in the first place if it pisses you off so bad? That's all I gotta say. Yes. Okay, enough of that. Well, what do you think, Maria? Does my face look good? She said yes. I don't know if anybody did this when they were a kid, but I actually still do this, even though I also did it as a little kid. But I still always, when I'm home alone, have to like check places to make sure like, there's not, like, a freaking evil clown hiding in there, like, from the movie It or something. And so I'll still have to, like, I'm in the bathroom, still peek in there to make sure everything's okay before I start getting ready. It's a stupid habit that's carried over from when I was little, but it just makes my mind feel better. <laughs> I'm actually going to be heading out here soon just to get some stuff done. I have to edit some more YouTube videos. I'm going to run some errands. And when Justin gets off, I don't know what we're gonna do. But when he's done with work, we're probably just gonna hang out, get some dinner and stuff like that. I have this whole week off. Um, we're going to 
Tennessee Friday, and we're going to be seeing a few people down in Tennessee. And thank you guys for hanging out with me on my day off. I got bit up by mosquitoes like crazy. I'm still super itchy and trying really hard not to scratch myself. But I will see you guys in the next video. Maybe you'll just see Justin in the next video because he's going to be doing more of like a skincare because he has beautiful skin. Nothing is ever wrong with his skin. So he's going to show you guys what he does to keep it flawless. Okay, so until next time, stay bearded and beautiful, everybody.